my wife and travel with the jar. I won't appear. Oh, he said something bad? Well, it's worse than my balls is not? Sorry, yes. Yeah, depends on how you. Like, oh, so something that's like controversial. Uh, not Did he say he likes Donald Trump? <laughs> Did he say, I can't believe it, he's probably, that's why no one's talking right now. Oh, was, <laughs> you can read it. I'm not going to react from this. Oh, I've heard him say this before. This old material. What's wrong with that? He's recycling material now. Do we have any questions? Was, uh, was it like a no? I mean, obviously, you changed your opponent late in the game, but you were going to stay on this card no matter what, right? It's your hometown card. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was uh, two weeks ago, I got the phone call. Uh, I was obviously very excited for the rematch with Luke. As a competitor, to be able to have a rematch and be able to show, show that that wasn't as you know, the best of me that night was a huge opportunity for me, and was, uh, I was excited for it. But uh, Jack Ray, I mean, it's the same, it's a ticket to what I want, you know, to really get a title fight and have the opportunity to get my belt back is the goal. So whoever can get me there, that, that's where I want to fight, and Jack Ray does that. So it doesn't really matter. They, uh, the only difference is one guy's orthodox, one guy's southpaw. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It's a fist fight, two, two punches, I mean two fists, two, two kicks coming at you. So, so all the same stuff. I just gotta go out there and do my thing. Is it frustrating though in some ways because you're planning on Rockhold and he's a guy that you're trying, you've been trying to get back down for, for a number of years and all of a sudden he, he's injured, he's had some injury issues in the past, now he's injured, you gotta fight someone else on a short notice. Is yeah. that at all frustrating? It was frustrating for about 15 minutes because I was, I was, I was obviously pissed off. I wanted to fight Luke, and uh, I was excited to do that. And obviously, I felt I was going to win and, and do it in a dominant way. And uh, so, when you have that, vi those visions set up, and then all of a sudden, you got to get rid of that and get ready for someone else. It's, you get frustrated for, for a little bit, but then I got super excited about Jaka. You know, he brings he brings a lot of dangers to the table, a lot of challenges uh, that I have to overcome as well. So it's. Uh, it's something I definitely I'm, I'm super excited for. Do you feel like you made that move, that fight against Rockhold eventually? Honestly, no. I mean, listen, as a competitor, I'd love to get all my rebacks back. So any one of them, I want back. But I, the goal for me is to win the world championship. Hold that belt. That's that's really what I'm doing this for. So whoever can get me there, gets me there. Um, if I get rematches and it gets me there, that's a that's a it's it's, it's you know the, it's double as good. It's a it's a big difference. Um, you know, I went from the highest of highs, beating Ennis De Silva. You know, nine and zero fighting him, greatest of all time. Beat him twice, defended my belt three times. Uh, undefeated, undisputed, one of the few guys who ever do it. I was on the it was the highest highest of highs, and then to hit the lowest of lows, three fights in a row. Um, it affects your confidence, and confidence is everything. And going into the Gaslam fight, it was a mental, it was mentally draining to to keep that confidence up, you know, because that, it, the reality is my hand didn't get raised three times in a row. You have all the doubters and, and naysayers, you, you hear them, you try to silence them, but it's work to do that mentally. And so it was, it was, a, uh, it was a mental battle leading up to that fight. And, uh, you know, I just had to realize, like, every one of those fights was a different situation. The Luke fight, I was winning, you know, I, I knew things that happened before the fight. I just, in each one of those fights, the Romero fight, these are all fights I was winning. These are all fights I was capable of winning. And uh, it didn't work out. You know, I ended up, things went wrong. And uh, I, I tried to look at each one of those individual fights and realize that just because they compounded in those three, that doesn't define me as all of a sudden as a bad fighter. Or anything. And so, thank God I was able to persevere and come out of all that adversity on the other side and get a win over Gaslam and finish Gaslam, the only person to ever finish him. He's a tough dude. And uh, and then I hit adversity again with my thumb. Two thumb surgeries and we're back, we're back again. But coming off a win is uh, feels way better to be honest. It's just, it's, because you already know. You're not questioning yourself as much. You don't question yourself. It's just you know, uh, I already know what I'm doing. Does it feel like a win on Saturday still gets you that, that title shot that you want? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think uh, whether it was Luke or Jacare, um, he'd be getting me a title fight. Before I even had this fight set, it was between me or Gastelum, uh, who was going to be fighting for the title. And, uh, they decided to go with him. I was coming with injury. You know, it's a business. It's all good. And then, um, I, I, you know, if you believe you're the best in the world, you got to be ready to fight any of these guys. And any of these guys in the top five are tough. Uh, but 
I believe I'm better than everybody, so I just have to, have to show that. What do you think you're going to play against, like, January, February of next year? Will you be ready just in case if you're to win Saturday? Yeah. Someone gets hurt, well, I was told, to I was told by my manager when I got the phone call about Luke being dropped out is that I'd be the replacement fight. I win this fight. I'm the replacement fight for in case, uh, you know, I guess Gasson gets in for another fight. Okay. So you would you go to the fight or whatever it's going to be? Yeah. Okay. Probably Australia. You got, well, I have no idea. I'm at the UFC, you know? <laughs> Don't play coy with us. I'm a fish. Well, Chris Hatton want to play one on one with you? Well, he doesn't want to do this one on one. And honestly, the match. I would end up, I'm so damn competitive. Last time I played one-on-one -on -one with him, he's so unathletic and dopey, I I got hurt. I, he like, he hip-checked me. And I went down on my shoulder. This is years ago. He played in the NFL, he's unathletic? He's super unathletic. <laughs> <laughs> he probably ended up with the He's good at sprinting one direction, but if you throw a little cone in there, this guy's falling over his two feet. Chris, how is, how are, how is the thumb after the I'm just kidding, he's super athletic. What? How is the thumb after the two surgeries? Thumb, uh, the thumb is amazing, yeah. I started this camp about like 14, 15 weeks out just to really, you know, have the thumb tested out, heavy sparring. I started with just boxing sparring to feel it with the punches. Then I got into the grappling, and um, it's been honestly no issues. My grip actually feels stronger on my left hand now than it did before. And strong, it's stronger than my right hand. And obviously, you, you touched on the Yoel Romero fight here. Is that giving you extra motivation to, to avenge that loss here? To, to, yeah, to have redemption in Madison Square Garden. Uh, last last time I was here was two years ago for Yo Romero, and uh, you know I got hit with the knee, and it was very disappointing. It was heartbreaking. And again, it was I was in the lowest of lows during those times, and uh, and to get a win over in Madison Square Garden, uh, it's going to be an amazing feeling. But that's gonna, that, not that I'm thinking about that, but it's going to be something that it feels good to know that I came back and and uh, persevered in the same place that I lost. What do you think of this uh, Ben Askren for Demetrius Johnson trade? Did you even know the trades could be a thing in that? No, I don't think anybody knew trades. I think Ben Askren even, or I know, I don't think he knew uh, trades was a thing either. But I think it's great for the sport. I think um, the fact that the UFC is willing, uh, willing to deal with other companies and, and negotiate <laughs> and uh, there's a free agency it seems like now. And it's, uh, I think it's good for all the fighters and uh, it's nice to see that the UFC is playing ball like that. The UFC could trade for anyone in the world to fight you. Bob Sapp. Me and Bob Sapp have a problem. Is that right? Yeah, we, we ran into each other at an event and he eyed me down and I, I ran a flinch. No, I'm just kidding, there's no problem. But hey, Bob Sapp, bring him in. I, I mean, uh, oh, Musashi, is that where you're going through Musashi? No, okay. I was, it was open ended. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll Bob take Bob Sapp. Bob Sapp seems uh, like a tough fight. So are you moving to heavyweight then? Super heavyweight? I'll go up to heavyweight for that. Yeah. Maybe MSG next year, you against Bob Sapp. MSG, Weidman, Bob Sapp, that thing would sell. That thing would be crazy. I'm in. I'm buying the ticket. Yeah, you know, um, you know, this is my fourth fight fighting in New York now, and uh, it's nice to, you know, you're not. There's not any uh, things that you don't expect anymore. There, you know, you didn't really. I didn't know what to expect walking into these arenas as, as a New York guy. You know, and, and uh, after it got legalized, I didn't know what to expect, and uh, I know I know what to expect. So it's, everything's just I feel the, uh, so since you brought us, it's like, also new, like staying. Uh, what are you doing, Mark Ramondi? Don't go back to your old ways, Ramondi. Uh, no, 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 no. Cut him off, please. You brought up Musashi. That yeah. sounds like that's still on your mind. You Mus want that Musashi would be a, a fun one to get back, man. He's a tough dude, and uh, he just he just oh he did look good against Roy McDonald, and. He's a tough guy, and uh, listen, I'm a, I'm a competitor. That fight did not end right. That was, uh, I think I got screwed in that fight. Uh, that's another fight I was winning, and I would love to get that, that one back. But any of my losses, Joe Romero, Musashi, Luke, there's no bad blood. It's just I'm super competitive, and uh, for whatever reasons, those nights that weren't my night, and I know I'm capable of beating them, so I would love to get a rematch on, on all of them. But like, as much as that is important to me, it doesn't come close to having the UFC belt and uh, making lots of money. <laughs> so, I, you know, that like the UFC belt is where it's at, man. The UFC belt is what I want, and it would be nice if they were coming up and I was defending against them and stuff. We'll see. I got I got a tough guy in front of me, Jack Ray, and we got some, some fights to go. That fight happens in New York, and the fight here again in New York. Is there any 
hesitance to, I know obviously you're from here and you, you want to fight here, but the commission has had some, some strange Yeah, yeah, I wasn't happy things. with the, I wasn't happy with the commission, uh, you know, a few things, uh, in, especially in the first couple of fights I had in New York, but uh, I'm just, they want, obviously I want to fight in New York, you know, and uh, just because there's an issue with the commission, doesn't, it's not going to stop me, you know. Thank you. Thanks, Chris.